Well, I'm not sure where it goes, but it goes somewhere, right? Well, hello, and welcome back to the Bike Packing Dad's YouTube channel. Today, we're going to go into some of my favorite gear, okay? We're talking about my sleeping setup. So, I've got four products to go through with you, all from Alpkit. No, I'm not sponsored by Alpkit. I'm not sponsored by anyone. Um, but if anyone from Alpkit's watching, uh, yeah, so four products anyway. We're going to go straight in. We've got a pillow, a sleeping mat, a bivy bag, and a sleeping bag. So, without further ado, let's get stuck into all four of them. I'll give you some of the details. I'll tell you what I think about them and why I use them. And then I will give you the prices. Bearing in mind, some of the prices I will give you are current Black Friday deals. So, today's date is the 22nd of November. So, if you're watching this anywhere around that date and Black Friday is still going and you fancy a look at some of these, then head across to Alpkit fairly quickly and you might uh, save yourself a few pennies. Without further ado, let's get stuck into the products. We're going to start with the bivy bag, the classic bivy bag. Alpkit do a bivy bag called the Hunker and they do an extra large version called the Hunker XL. Who'd have thought it? Um, here it is. Packs down fairly small, super compressible, windproof, waterproof. The XL is massive. I'm six foot two, so I'm not the tallest person in the world, but this gives me loads of extra room. If the weather's particularly bad, or I wanna keep some of my personal belongings super safe, depending where I'm camping, I will put the personal belongings right down by my feet and I don't have to worry about kicking them because it is that big. If it's a nice night, you can sleep out under the stars in this. It will keep any moisture off you. Um, just a really solid bit of kit. In the winter, I just use it as an extra layer. Uh, pop my sleeping bag inside it for a little bit of protection, along with my mat and my pillow. I know what you're thinking about the pillow, but trust me, I'll get to it. It's a great bit of kit. I don't really worry about counting the grams on these trips. I reckon it only weighs, it can only be four or five hundred grams for the large version, I reckon. Uh, it will say on the website. But yeah, super compressible. You can squash it right down. Find a little nook or cranny for it, take it with you because it might just keep you dry and keep you a little bit warmer. We will, um, after I've gone through all four of the products, open this out and uh, show you show you what it looks like. It's got this uh, lovely little stuff sack though. Um, this is built into it. It's like a little pocket pouch, like a kangaroo pouch almost, which you can basically just stuff it all back into and a classic drawstring to pull it nice and tight. So there we have the bivy bag, number one. Next up, we have my cloud-based sleeping mat. Stand by. Here it is. Look at it. It's nothing. It's definitely smaller than a bottle of wine. I'd probably say it's about the same height as uh, some sort of bottle of soft drink, a bottle of Coke maybe. Um, it weighs probably about 500 grams, folds up really small. It also comes with a repair patch kit inside, uh, which is quite handy should you maybe get a little tear in it. I think my favourite bit about this is it is comfortable. It's still relatively thin, but as you'll see when it blows up, the shape of it and the way all the little air pockets kind of work, you can move around on this. You're not going to slide off it. It stays up all night. It's got a great uh, no return valve, which I'll show you when I blow it up. Um, yeah, this doesn't go down. You're not going to wake up on a flat mat. Solid bit of kit, like I say. I wouldn't go without it because I'm all about the comfort. If you are really worried about weight, you don't think you need this, that's fine. But if I'm going bike packing, I want to wake up the next morning and I want to be well rested. I want to feel ready to get on my bike and go and tackle another day. Um, so yeah, it's not something I'm willing to sacrifice. Why go and sleep on the hard floor when you can carry an extra 500 grams at this size? Head comparison, not very big. Um, yeah, good bit of kit. Go and get yourself one. I'll give you the prices at the end. It is currently on a Black Friday deal, I believe. Um, so yeah, um, let's get on to the next thing. And it's going to be the pillow. Because what's the point? If you're going to take this, let's take a little pillow with you, right? Here it is. Look at it. Looking all cute in its little bag. Um, that's because it is cute. Super cute. This is the Alpkit Drift Pillow. And it says right here, it weighs 100, a whole 100 grams, including the cover that it comes in. So yeah, it's uh, you're going to notice this when it's in your bag. Great bit of kit. Uh, I, I almost can't wait to take it out and show you because 
It's got this lovely kind of suede kind of finish to it. Super comfy to rest your head on. The biggest tip I would give you for this, don't blow it all the way up so it's rock hard because it becomes a bit bouncy castle-esque and you kind of roll off it. Just blow it up three quarters of the way so your head can sink into it a little bit and you can uh, drift away into sleep. But yeah, this, uh, let me have a quick look. This is on a Black Friday deal as well. We'll get to those prices. But look at the size of it. It's nothing. If you want to take it out of the bag, fold it up, squash it down even further, fit it in any nook and cranny you can find, do it. But take it with you. It's 100 grams, and for the level of comfort it's going to give you, and that nice feeling, you've had a hard, long day on the bike, maybe you've got soaked, treat yourself. It's just a few quid. It weighs nothing. Why not, right? It's time to bring out the big stuff, okay? And I say big stuff loosely because it's not very big at all. But this right here is my Alpkit Ultra 120 sleeping bag. It weighs next to nothing. I've got the long version. I've got the zip on the left, preference. It weighs in at just over 600 grams, I think. Super compressible. It's filled with Primaloft Gold synthetic insulation. So it's super warm and it's rated down to one degree, I believe it is. I've not used it down to one degree, but I've used it fairly close on a recent, uh, a recent trip to a Bothy. And if you've not seen that video, go look down below. I'll throw a little link in. You might look at this and think, that's still a fair old size. Um, however, it is super compressible. And I'll use all of my might to show you. Okay. You can fit it pretty much anywhere if you're carrying some bike packing bags. Um, yeah, just a solid bit of kit. It's a three season bag. I wouldn't be using it in the deep winter. You probably want to get something a little bit warmer. But for fair weather, if you're out in the summer, it might be a bit too warm. Open it up, use it as a blanket. Um, but yeah, even in the chilly weather recently, this has been a great bit of kit. Um, all the products I've shown you so far are obviously from Alpkit, but they also all fit in to my Ortley Pandle Bar Pack. I have reviewed all my Ortlieb bags and I will put links down below with the Bothy Trip. This is only nine liters. I fit my sleeping bag, my sleeping mat, my little pillow, um, and what else do I have? My bivy bag. I can get all of that into here, which goes on the handlebars. There's even enough room for a little gas canister. So yeah, it just goes to show how much all of this stuff packs down. So don't sacrifice comfort or sacrifice a good night's sleep for the sake of a couple of hundred grams or you know even 500 grams a kilo be comfortable at night you want to get to wherever you're going you want to be able to set up camp have some warm food and climb into something warm to sleep there's nothing worse than being cold all night and having to wake up and get back on your bike because it's miserable so treat yourself to a few of the finer things uh if you are a gram counter and you're listening to this thinking i can go without I can sleep on the floor. I don't. I don't need this. I just need a bivy bag, little sleeping bag. Forget the pillow. I'll fold up a, I'll fold up a fleece or I'll fold up a coat. Then on you go. But pillows, a hundred grams, people. One hundred whole grams. Okay. Treat yourself. Launch it in the bag. It takes up no space. But as promised, we're going to get stuck in and open all of these up so you can see what the gear looks like. So we will start with, whoever put it off. We'll start with the bivy bag. Watch your space. First up's the Vivi bag, uh, the Hunker XL from Alpkit. Let's get straight into it, okay? Drawstring, simple release. Pull it out. That was pretty easy, right? You know if I can figure this stuff out. Give it a shake, get a bit of air into it. Here we have, there's no zips or anything like that. It's all one piece. Uh, it's all taped seams. Uh, I say taped seams, but... It's completely waterproof, okay? Uh, one piece with drawstrings either side if you need to pull it tight to get super snug. I tend to lie this out, blow up my sleeping mat, pop that in. Um, get my sleeping bag, pop that in as well, and then pillow at the top. The hood, if you're sleeping outside and say it's wet or whatever, um, first of all, why are you not in a tent? But if you are, like I say, these two drawstrings right here, you can, uh, you can pull them up super tight. You could probably cover your entire face if you wanted to, but you get the idea. A great bit of kit to have with you. You might not need it, but if you do need it, you're going to be happy you took it with you. It weighs next to nothing. 
It's got a bit of Outkit branding on it. It doesn't really bother me, but it does come in various colours. I think there's a red and potentially a blue. Um, so, yep, yeah, fill your boots and get whichever one you fancy. But really handy bit of kit. When you want to put it away, um, this is going to sound obvious when I say it, but the first few times I put it away, I definitely got this wrong. Make sure you go and squash all the air out of it first, because if you try and force it back into its little mesh pocket and it's full of air, all of a sudden it's twice as big and it's not going back in your bag. So simple stuff, but lessons learned. Let me do the, uh, the stupid stuff for you. We are going to get into the sleeping bag next, so let's have a look. My favourite bit of kit, uh, the Alpkit Ultra 120. I don't even know if you can see that, but there you go. Um, let's take it out. Let's have a look at it. Same again. Little drawstring here. Let's loosen it up and take this lovely sleeping bag out. The first thing I noticed about it when I got it was how thin it was. And I thought, there's no way when it gets down into single figures that this is going to keep me warm. I run pretty cold. So when it turned up and I looked at it, I thought I'd made a mistake. But trust the technology. Primaloft Gold. Um, yeah, it does what it says on the tin, okay? Climb in, give it a go. Uh, I've got the zip on the left. Little Velcro here to keep the zip from rubbing. It's only a quarter length zip to save a bit of weight, so why not? Uh, quarter length zip, plenty of room to get in. Comes with the hood. And the hood also has a drawstring, so you can get this nice and tight, just like the, um, just like the bivvy bag. Here you go. Demonstrated. You'd be pretty cozy in there, as I have been. Um, but yeah, like I say, I think um, this is a fine, it's a fine sleeping bag and a good temperature to go down to because I think even in the summer, you could probably run a lighter sleeping bag and one that doesn't doesn't keep you as warm at lower temperatures. But this weighs nothing, just over six hundred grams for the long version. So take this with you in the summer, the autumn, and just have it unzipped. You know, you could even sleep on top of it if it's that warm, but it will give you uh, everything you need. And if it gets too nippy, you can just climb inside. So compresses down super, super snug. Uh, I'll tell you what, let me grab the bag. This wasn't my intended plan. But let's try and just launch it back in here quickly, right? Let me just show you how quick and easy and how compressible it is. You might think this bit here is going to be an issue because you've not squeezed the air out. But because of the way it's designed, all this big air bubble here, you can squash it down as you go. Launch it in. You're basically just punching it back into the bag. One more punch even. Grab the drawstring. Tighten it up. We're back to where we started. Okay. Great bit of kit. Super warm. You get what you pay for, okay? We'll get to the prices soon. You might think it's a bit steep. But if you know about these things and you know about sleeping bags, you will also know you can pay a lot more money than what this is okay um, like I say when it's at home it stays out of this bag and lives in a box so it can air out a little bit uh, it's just better for the life of the sleeping bag so yeah the ultra 120 great bit of kit we're gonna get onto the sleeping mat now the cloud base sleeping mat I'm not sacrificing comfort and that is why it goes on all of my trips with me so let's take a look I will not pour it out because I will pour the uh, the repair patches from the bottom out as well. I will gently take it out and place this over here. So out it comes, fold it up nicely. This right here is a great no release air valve. If I open it up, you will see there's a black bit here. When you blow it up, this moves to let the air in and then the air that you have put inside then pushes back against it to push it Back against the uh, back against the seal, so it's not letting the air out. Beautiful. Uh, I will blow it up so you can see the shape it takes. How many is this going to take? This could be embarrassing. Okay, we're taking shape. You can uh, you can start to see the kind of diamond shape. We'll go with diamond. Okay, a couple more just to get it nice and firm. Pop that back in. Clicks in nicely, really light, doesn't lose any air overnight, okay? It stays up all night and it's super comfy. The nature of the shape of all the diamonds means it's uh, pretty flexible, it's not rigid. So as you move, it, it moves with you. You don't tend to roll off it. 
if you put it in the bivy bag, like I tend to do, there's nowhere for it to roll to anyway, so it's not going anywhere. But yeah, um, flexible, doesn't lose any air, weighs next to nothing. Um, don't sacrifice a good night's sleep because you don't want to carry three, four hundred grams of cloud face, okay? Um, get yourself one, pop it in your bag, and then when you're settling in for the night, you'll be glad you got one. Trust me. Laugh all you like, but the pillow's coming with me, okay? Let's have a look at this, uh, this great bit of kit. If I can get into it. Have I mentioned that it's only 100 grams? Yeah, pretty sure. Pretty sure we've covered that, right? Here it is in all its glory. It's got a lovely suede finish here, okay? Still looking pretty good because I definitely not do not drool in my sleep. Doesn't matter who you speak to. If my wife comments on this, just ignore her. But yeah, it's going to take a few blows to get it up. Okay, two. I would not have it this firm, okay? Because my head tends to roll off and I like my head to sink into it a little bit. That's all it is. 100 grams, two breaths to blow it up, a little bit of comfort so you can have a good night's sleep. It's in the sale just now. I'm going to get to the price soon. Um, just treat yourself to it. You can put it anywhere. You can put it in a back pocket on your jersey if you want, um, but take it with you. You will thank me, okay? And if you buy one and don't like it, no, that's not going to happen. So just go and get one. You're going to have to excuse me for this bit because I'm going to refer to my phone. I can't remember all the prices and the Black Friday prices. So without further ado, let's get straight into it, okay? The Hunker XL Bivy Bag. Current price in the sale, $55.99. Normal price, $69.99. If you're after one, it's a good bit of kit. A bit of protection for your sleeping bag. An extra layer in the cold, and if it's nice, gives you the option to sleep outside under the stars. So go and snap one up. I'm six foot two. I've got the XL, loads of room. If you're a little bit smaller, yeah, get the normal size one. You're going to be fine. The cloud-based sleeping mat, thirty nine ninety nine in the sale, or forty nine ninety nine normally. Flexible, doesn't make too much noise when you're rolling around on it. You tend not to roll off it because of the shape of the diamond pattern doesn't lose air that's the big one right no one wants to wake up on a flat mat go snap yourself a deal that's a 10 pound saving if you don't want to carry an extra four or five hundred grams sleep on the floor and uh don't be as comfortable but i'm all about the comfort okay and speaking of comfort the little pillow 100 grams 100 just get one pop it in a pocket 11.99 just now 13.99 normal price it's not going to break the bank is it and uh yeah, for the level of comfort it gives at the end of the day, that nice kind of suede finish, you'll be happy you're resting your little face on it. And the sleeping bag, the most expensive bit of kit, no Black Friday deal. Currently sold out on Alt Kit, but it is available for pre order and it comes in at £199.99. pence. So, yeah, you might be thinking that's a lot of money for a sleeping bag, but if you shop around or you know about these things, go and check out Sea to Summit. You're not getting something that is super compressible, rated down to one degree, weighs around the 600 gram mark. You're not getting anything like that from one of these other brands for 200 pounds. It's a great bit of kit. Three season, take it in the summer. If you get too warm, open it up, use it as a blanket, whatever you want to do. But uh, you'll be pleasantly surprised. I think when it turns up and you see how small, thin, you might have a few doubts like I did, but get out there and test it and just trust that it's going to work because it really does. I run cold, and if I can get away with sleeping in that, most people can get away with sleeping in it. But yeah, there we go. That's my sleep setup. Everyone's different. If you want to be cozier, buy a thicker mat, buy a bigger sleeping bag, whatever's going to suit you. But I can only tell you what I've got. If it's been of any help, great. If it hasn't, you've done really well to make it this far. So um, yeah, cheers for watching, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Oh. And don't forget, if it has been helpful, comment, like, subscribe. I think we're at like 40 subscribers, which is phenomenal because it's not even all family and friends. So thanks very much. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Cheers.